Siku's still fast asleep there on his little bed. I'm not going to wake him up yet. Let him sleep a bit more. Good morning. It's about 5am on Saturday the 16th of June 2018. So I'm awake because Jamie just had to get up and go to his milkman job so I ended up waking up and I saw that he's left out some stuff for breakfast for me, some gluten free bread and some baked beans and last night he had got me in some plain chicken and rice. So he's actually been really really kind and thoughtful about my you know, food needs, which is always difficult when I'm staying with someone, so I really appreciate that. I suppose he knows really well from before what, what I need. Siku. Down. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Shake. Good boy. Okay, here's your treat. Hello, so it's about 10pm on Saturday evening. I've had a really nice day with Jamie and Siku. We've had Siku in with us watching TV and it's been really nice just having his company and it's been fun chatting to Jamie. I'm glad that we still get on well. And he's done really well getting all my food and stuff sorted that I need. So, yeah, it's been a really nice, relaxing day. The sort of day I don't have to recover from, which is rare for me whenever I go anywhere. I usually have to spend a couple of days recovering. So, yeah, it's been nice. He's just asleep at the minute because he's been working quite late nights and odd hours. So I'm just up watching a bit of TV with Siku. Bye bye for now. Just really, really craving a snack, um, especially some scrambled egg on gluten free toast. And I found some eggs in the fridge, so I'm going to have a go at making some. Um, Jamie even thought about the crumbs in the toaster and how that might not be gluten free so he set up the grill for me to use to toast bread. That's what I mean about him really thinking about my food needs and stuff. Mm, not really sure what I'm doing here.
honestly not even sure if it's on. <laughs> Success. I think one of the things about being here is that I'm just away from my mum and it really gives me some perspective on how much the way my mum treats me is affecting me and just living with somebody that acts like they hate you and you're ruining their life all the time has a massive effect on how you feel really and I try not to let her see how much she affects me sometimes but um, I filled in the form for that flat that I looked at a few days ago and it sounds like I should be able to get one within the next six months if not earlier so fingers crossed I can get it sooner because I really need to be in an environment where I'm not just being constantly screamed at for every little thing and just hated and treated as though I'm this horrible burden that just shouldn't exist. Like, I find myself apologising for basically nothing because it's the sort of thing that that my mum would go berserk over. <laughs> Hope I'm not waking Jamie up with my video logging.